Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the observations video or quick review of the latest build of Windows 10 that was released for insiders in the fast ring today. Um, build 14.3.7.6. So, whatever insider you are, PC, mobile, fast or slow ring, something happened today. For fast ring, 14.3.7.6 available as of today June 28 for PC and for mobile you're in slow ring today 14372 released for PC and for mobile so basically we're not far off for slow and fast ring uh, meaning that of course 14372 was pretty stable uh, because it was released in the slow ring so um, install went super well no problems, usual, really easy to do install of Windows here. Um, when I got back from that install, of course, on the watermark at the bottom right, we see evaluation copy build 14376 RS1, Redstone 1, or anniversary update. Uh, features, nothing new. That, for if you're looking for something new in the features, there's nothing new. But to give you an idea, between the last build and this build, there's 1,800 bug fixes. So that's pretty interesting when you think about it. 1,800 bug fixes. A lot of that, of course, comes from the feedback hub. A lot of people reporting bugs. You know, that's why we are here, the insiders. Report different bugs that we've encountered and we've gotten in Windows uh, 10. So the Feedback Hub is the place where you report this and uh, pretty pretty cool when you think about it. We're helping Microsoft a lot here. Now they're really, you know, I, I've, I've looked at Edge, the extension stuff, nothing new. The extensions are still there, so the ones that I already had. Uh, there's a little bit of more extensions, so if you look at Get Extensions, uh, there's uh, Evernote that's added, uh, Web Clipper and stuff like that. So, you know, so slowly the extensions are, are getting more and more uh, interesting in Edge. Also, one of the things that we know is there was an update for the Windows Store. So the store has been updated a little bit, but not really much in the way of um, basically features, mostly bug and um, stability issues that were fixed in here. Nothing new if I looked, uh, you know, I went through the, the settings menu and everything. Uh, nothing really special happened there. Um, of the bug fixes that were really uh, fixed here, um, of course there was one that was uh, that I showed you last time where when you clicked the uh, when you clicked on the connection flyout, uh, you had network settings and it would do nothing when you click. But now when you do, it of course works. Cortana works fine. What's the weather? It's currently 20 and mostly cloudy. So it works really, really good. Nothing there. Uh, of the bug fixes that there are, um, developer had uh, problems when you had developer mode enabled and um, it would crash. Uh, there was narrator that had a problem that's fixed. Also, uh, update when Windows alone the lock screen would actually say your name twice apparently. Fixed issues where uh, universal Windows platform apps would not work well. Fixed issue with the lock screen background may not display well. Uh, one issue where when you went to settings, sometimes when you actually searched for something in the search box, it would actually display the result on top of the box instead of the bottom. So uh, what's kind of a weird bug here. Fixed uh, issues um, when you couldn't uh, set the time zone automatically, correct. Fixed issues with an alarm clock, the calculator app, consistency and scrolling, zooming. Uh, Microsoft Edge, when it received notification, would make explorer.exe crash. 
that's fixed. And uh, authentication error when launching uh, MS TSC.exe from elevated command prompt. These are the fixes. As for the problems, you know, every version that we had until now, Microsoft would issue a list of problems or last few times was, you know, one problem or two. Well, here, no issues for PC, nothing, nothing at all. So that's kind of interesting. It means that we're really getting close. And of course, that doesn't mean there's no bugs or no problems. It simply means that uh, we're getting close to something clean and uh, interesting for the updates of a uh, mobile build or a PC build. Uh, mobile build has a few issues yet though. Uh, they did talk about a few issues including some devices having a problem with battery life, a PDF and so on. So if you're a slow ring insider, go and get your 14372. Works great and it's a great build. If you're a fast ring insider, go get your build 14376 bug fixes. No new stuff. That means we're getting real close to the release of the anniversary update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And hopefully, you'll continue watching us. Hope you enjoyed this little quick observation and review of the latest build of Windows 10.